Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC we do everything DIY and today we're going to be servicing a Hashisaki ice machine. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Today we're going to be servicing a Hashisaki ice machine. This machine was stuck in the same position and it looks like we're back at it. What I found was, yep, handicapped at the moment. This switch right here was stuck like this. It's like, like stuck propped open and it just got stuck here. I guess there's a little switch inside there and it's no good. That has to be in its original position. Uh, today we're here to actually get this back up and going and the main thing is to give this thing a cleaning. So here I have nickel safe ice machine cleaner and sanitizing concentrate. We're going to be doing an internal wash. At the same time, this is a water filter. In the back here is the water filter. We're going to change that. We have an air filter here and another air filter on the front of the cover. That's going to need to be cleaned. And also, if you guys look here, this of course, this is an air-cooled machine. Look at the dirt on that condenser coil. The inside is packed. They tried to brush down the opposite end and it looks good, but it's really packed over there. So we really got to give this thing a clean, good cleaning. I got my air compressor here and I have a coil cleaner here. So we're going to blow it out. We're going to brush it down. Then we're going to blow it out with air. And then we're going to pressure wash the coil. And we're going to start by getting this thing back set up start the internal wash while I work on this so we do two things at once and at the same time sanitize the inside of this box let's get this back in its original position let's see if we put it in ice see what happens I just want this door to close it says on nothing's happening let me hit the reset Had to put that switch back in its normal position that's why it's closing if not it just gets stuck just want this thing to fully close watch this thing lock and it did off check it out guys look at that coil So what I want to do is gain proper access. I want to remove this fan just so we can really blast this thing away. Yes, yeah, so I really sliced my finger really bad. I was flaring a pipe on a new install for a mini split. And while I was trying to loosen it up with all my strength, I just smacked it against this metal. And I just really bled out so bad. It was terrible. But anyways, I went to work the next day. You know me. So it looks like we can take off a cover here. This ice machine used to be in an enclosure where you couldn't get to anything and couldn't even get to the back. So while I have the opportunity, let's see if I can take off this cover so I can gain a little more access. That would be amazing. Could I? We'll find out. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's a beautiful thing. Look at this. Oh man. You know it ain't cleaning nothing here. So we got four screws and I should be able to just pull this out. What a mess. Look at that coil, man. Jeez. Speaking, man, this coil needs some Jesus, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Dude. Two more up top. Get these wires out of the way. Perfect. This whole thing out of my way. Clean that later. And now we have a good access to that coil. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. Wow. Unreal. All right, guys. Let's start by giving this. Let's brushing this thing down. Oh 
Oh boy. This is really bad. Caked up. Cleaning around the coil as well because all this stuff has to come out. The coil is going to pick all this stuff up right after we'd spent all this time cleaning. Definitely time for a good cleaning. Yeah, so I'm really cleaning around the whole entire area. I mean, this was so bad. It's already a huge progress. Started taking this off, but I can't get to the screws back here. Man, I'm not trying to rip this whole unit apart just to do that. I have more than enough access to clean through there, so let's just put this back. What a poor, poor setup. It's already a nice difference. Oh man. Look at that, my God. We also have a coil in the back here. I wanna make sure this is brushed down as well. All right, so we got everything disconnected. I gave it a little brush down. So what I'm gonna do is put the system on ice. Let's see if this thing starts. So pretty much what I want to happen is I want the tank to fill up with water. Hopefully this thing doesn't go crazy. Anything gonna happen? Reset. Cam is coming down. Hope that thing doesn't start freaking flying. Stand back a little bit. Okay. Little way to fill up the water on your own. Okay, we're good on that part. Let's let this thing fill up. And once it's filled up, 100%, we're gonna work the valves if needed for this kind of ice machine and fill it with chemical of course food grade, food grade chemical excuse me we need this safe so once that fully locks let's see any second right there we're full off all right so we're going to want to shut off the water supply here all right, so I move the top cover. Right here is the reservoir. Then you're gonna add in the recommended amount of cleaner. Over here, we have a graduation scale. So I'm gonna mix that with the water. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the water level is like up to here. So we should be good. And we're gonna put this thing on wash. So now the pump is circulating every, everything through internally and like this we're gonna descale this evaporator. This is the evaporator section. Back of this main panel is where you're gonna have the sanitizing and cleaning instructions. So yeah. Not sure if you can see from the video but everything is green in here and that's the cleaner. So it's circling through. It should say how long it should be cleaning for, but pretty much while um, cleaning the condenser coil, we're gonna let this run the entire time and then dump it. So at least half an hour, I would definitely recommend, especially for if you're getting bad ice. And yeah, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually dump all the ice. I didn't do that just because there was barely anything in here, but you could tell like how good or bad the ice is by like, like looking at it see like there's like a bunch of cracks like it's not fully clear so that's like a bad ice the ice isn't smooth or it has these white marks in it or the dimples inside are not good there's a good chance you need a cleaning while i'm cleaning the ice machine down there we got christian over here on the big machine look at this thing is to the ceiling this thing is serious 
So it's two condenser units on top, and this one is water cooled, so it's a different setup. But it's also Hashizaki. And yeah, this thing is no joke. You want to use a natural cleaner when it comes to stuff like this. All right, I got my air compressor here. Man, let's blast this thing. guys that already looks a ton better I'm gonna shut this off and we're gonna want this thing to drain I'm gonna do it automatically right here is a drain plug so you can adjust the position up or down right this is normal position drain it's facing down because you want everything to come out of here so what I'm gonna do is put it in ice and basically when this drops, I want this to, to clear out all that chemicals. You can see some of it is in there. So that's gonna be that. Like this, we're just gonna dump everything in there. It's gonna go straight down the drain. In the back, we have a pump that goes into the drain. And yeah, let this go. Afterwards, there's like a little tube here. And we're gonna wanna clean that as well. But let's, dump all that water and let's push in some fresh water hope you guys can see over there we're getting some fresh water and it's pushing more out another thing i'm thinking about doing is just pulling that plug right there and dumping everything and then repeat this process to fill it up with fresh water and then we're going to go through the sanitizing process All right, we got that back together. It's a little ice. So we can get this thing to fill up once again. And let's fill up this with water and get this thing going. Now that this is filled up, we can add the sanitizing concentrate. Only need a little bit of this. Close the water supply, put it in wash. Pump started. And yep, while we're sanitizing, I can clean this coil a little better. Dumping all that stuff and we're gonna want to rinse this with fresh water a few times as well I got the subco porta blaster set up here and we're gonna be pulling water from here and we're gonna clean off this coil This coil is honestly so bad I gave it a quick little something but you see all that discoloring It's honestly really greased up. I feel like we got to add a little chemical to this Although this is a condenser, I picked up some EVAP foam no rinse. This is pretty good, it's pretty heavy duty and it doesn't just like damage the coil. So I'm gonna rinse it on there. Does well, it's gonna foam up. And then from there, I'm gonna give it a quick rinse with the pressure washer. Put some on here too so we can rinse down and wipe down the surrounding area. This stuff was just gross. All right, let's rinse this up. Oh yeah, you can see it's breaking up that dirt. That totally looks a lot better. Now we're gonna wanna clean this tube and change the filter in the back. All right, so I'm gonna pull out this little clip, squeeze it, pick it out the way. Disconnect the solenoid tubing, right? 
maybe from this side there we go got that out and take this screw out and pull this out pull this out look at that and that's the ice that you guys are drinking disgusting how much better is that now you can see the holes actually let's go ahead and reinstall this back on I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this blade down as well this thing is terrible this thing is so greasy we gotta sand this thing off a little bit all right that helps ten sounds better Let's go ahead and reinstall everything back. I was closing everything up. We also cleaned the filters here. The two filters. Wiping down the panels right now. And we gotta get out of here. It's Friday, man. Man, look at that water filter. All right, we're gonna close this. I wouldn't try to spin this off. We need a special wrench for this. Should be the one. Oh boy. Man, they tighten this so much. There we go. Let me get some water here. Look at this thing. Nice and clean. Well, man, look at that. Oh boy. Also giving this thing a nice wipe down. I'm just gonna drop this in. Super simple. And spin this on. Make sure there's no leaks. filters let's put this one on everything's cool and this one we can start the ice process all right no leaks let's go ahead and see what happens the ice process has begun nice look at that line nice and frosty it's about to drop ice any minute filter difference was just huge. All right, so I totally missed it, but it dropped ice. As far as like washing this with chemical and stuff like that, I discarded the first two batches of ice just in case. You don't want any chemical being consumed. But pretty much that was a deep cleaning. It's going through another cycle. And if anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and I'll catch you all next time.